sound. Butterfly bombs. These were a nefarious little 2 kilogram or 4.4 pound anti-personnel submunition, a type of cluster bomb used by the German Luftwaffe and the U.S. Army Air Forces during World War II. It's called a butterfly bomb because of its shape. It had a shell that hinged open when the bomb deployed, giving it the appearance of a large butterfly, one that wanted to kill you. These butterfly bombs were not dropped individually. They were packed in containers holding up to 144 butterflies. These containers, sometimes called deviled eggs, burst open after release from an aircraft. And these containers could be carried by both bombers and fighter aircraft such as the Focke Wolf 190. These were one of the first cluster bombs developed and used in combat, and they proved highly effective at terrorizing the public. When the fuse goes off, unlocking the cluster, the butterfly bombs tumble out. Butterfly bombs could be set to explode in the air, or with a clockwork delay, detonating well after landing, meaning even after an air raid had passed, explosions could still be causing chaos. They could be set to explode on impact, or set with an anti-handling device, which made them particular terrors against curious civilians, who might not recognize the odd-looking bomb but they also terrorized farmers, factory workers, and could hold up runways. The bombs would arm while the wings glided the device down to earth. The bomb hung from the wings by a steel cable and spindle. As it fell, the spindle would turn. Once it had spun approximately 10 times, it would arm the bomb. Both American and German butterfly bombs produced deadly fragmentation, and if they were set to burst in the air, they had the potential to injure or kill at a great range. These bombs may kill up to 25 yards. They may injure up to 150 yards. This is the usual oval-shaped pattern in which a cluster of these bombs will land. Butterfly bombs were notoriously and purposely hard to disarm. The standard procedure was to sandbag them and blow them up or shoot them from a safe distance. Butterfly bombs were first used against Ipswich in 1940, and their use continued throughout the war, including against Soviet targets, primarily airfields to cause disruption. The British government purposely suppressed reporting on the bombs to downplay their effectiveness, hoping not to encourage their continued use. They did, after many tries, manage to disarm one for the purpose of re-engineering. At the height of the bomb's use, 520,000 were dropped by the Luftwaffe in August of 1943 alone. These bombs continued to terrorize the public for years after the war. The last bomb was found on a heavily bombed airfield on the island of Malta in 2009 by an 11-year-old boy. Luckily, it was safely detonated by the armed forces. It has either a delay fuse or an anti-disturbance fuse. Neither has any visible identification. The Americans ultimately chose to copy and mass produce the butterfly bomb. They used it during World War II, the Korean War, and the Vietnam War, designating it the M83. The Americans also used a cluster bomb or deviled egg to deliver their butterflies. The M29 cluster bomb weighed 230 kilograms or 500 pounds and carried nine wafers or sections of 10 bombs each. Okay, All right, I'm Johnny. Thanks for watching this little safety brief. Stay careful out there, and we'll see you next time. Hopefully.